No, the, the beep is asked under what circumstance would Francisca be legally allowed to have a whip in court? <laughs> the answer is none of them. <laughs> there are no circumstances. What if it was bring your whip to court day? Ooh, Not a thing. Damn it. <laughs> this, this isn't her emotional support whip. Oh, fuck, that's really funny. <laughs> That is really good. She just shows up to court and then like the bailiff tries to confiscate it. He's like, she's like, no, see, I this have a note from my doctor. Vip. <laughs> What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by your actual voice actor, Wes. Oh, I got an actual this time. Don't you always? No, you always just say joined by our voice actor Wes, but I'm our I get, fake I got voice actor voice Wes actor. and our actual lawyer Pridge. What do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been a bit, folks. You may or may not remember, sometimes we used to start these streams with a bar exam question, usually featuring the locale of any town Ohio, and once again, Pridge has found a masterpiece for us to 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 go over and dissect. Let's not, let's not, let's not hype it up too much. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're setting up for the alley-oop this is, this real is hard the best, right now. This is the best bar exam question Pridge has ever found. <laughs> After this, this will probably be the last one forever. Never expect another oh, one. Because they won't be any good, any good in compar by comparison. Man, I'm so excited. Pridge, I, I had no idea this was the best bar exam question you had. I mean, Wes, neither did I. <laughs> so without further ado, Pridge, give us that bar exam question. Barber and Cook lease adjacent retail shops in owner's shopping center, just called Mall, in any town, Ohio. Well, you know, I just love mall. the idea that it's just called. There's just a big sign that says mall. mall. Yeah. Hook but intense. it's spelled M O U L or M A U L. <laughs> Hook intensely dislikes Barber and would like to see him evicted from Mall. Oh, dang. Under the terms of the standard lease used by owner, Trafficking in illegal drugs on mall property is a ground for termination of the lease. I would imagine so. <laughs> one of Cook's customers told Cook that she saw one of Barber's employees selling marijuana in the parking lot just outside of Barber's shop. Mm. Uh-oh. Acting on the customer's information, Cook hired a private detective to spy on Barber and his employee in the evenings at their home. Oh, fuck. Listen, Kush smokers for Cook. <laughs> that detective reported back that although he had seen Barber's employee selling marijuana, he had not seen Barber doing so. Not uh -huh. satisfied with that report, Cook surreptitiously, surreptitiously entered and searched Barber's car while it was parked in the parking lot at Mall. Oh, shit. Jesus. Can't do that. He also opened a briefcase he found on the front seat and discovered a small plastic bag of a leafy substance, which Cook assumed was marijuana. Uh-oh. Uh, it's no. just cilantro. See, no. I was going to say, this is the deep lore where Barbara's like, nah, this is my cooking supplies. <laughs> Shit. In fact, the substance was catnip that Barbara was taking home for his cat. Yo! Uh, okay. So but I love cat, the idea. It was cat. It was cat drugs, not people drugs. Uh. I love the i. I love the idea that it's put in a briefcase. Yeah, like drugs are put in a briefcase in like, a movie. It's they had so to do a fucking. It up. It's like in little individual plastic baggies that are lined up perfectly. <laughs> God damn. Based on the report of the detective and his own search of Barber's car. Cook printed up some posters bearing photographs of Barber and his employees and the words, Get the drug dealers out of mall. Yo! Oh, the, you escalated it way. You just go, just, oh. Cook posted these no. posters at several places in the parking lot. I really hope that this is also like, he, he pulls like an Emma Sky. And does like a really shitty drawing of a stick figure <laughs> in <laughs> with like God little damn. shears and a little arrow pointing to him saying, Barber, 
bad. <laughs> Cook also called owner by telephone and said, Barber and his employee are selling marijuana at mall. I found marijuana in Barber's car yesterday. I want you to cancel his lease and evict him right now. Damn. Dang. Owner, apparently who really trusts Cook's word, For real. immediately served Barber with a notice of eviction, citing as the reason Barber's trafficking in illegal drugs. Oh, dang. Barber explained truthfully that he never engaged in, traf in trafficking and that if his employee did, he knew nothing about it. Uh -huh. Owner refused to relent and Barber vacated the premises. Oh, poor Barber. Wow. Although Cook was unaware of it, Barber was an unpaid volunteer preacher at a local church, and the church no! was on the verge of entering into a contract to hire Barber as its full-time paid preacher. Fuck! When, when, when members of the congregation saw the posters and brought the allegations oh, no! against Barber to the attention of the church, the church dismissed Barber and refused oh, no! to contact with them. Wow. Oh my god. Barber just Ruined falling on hard times for nothing. <laughs> As a result of these events, Barber has been unable to find a suitable location to reopen his shop and has been without oh any income god. for over six months. And he has been so upset and embarrassed that he has had to seek and pay for psychiatric care. Jeez. Oh no! What causes Talk about action, a bad hair day. <laughs> what causes of action arising from the above facts can Barber assert against Cook, and what is the likelihood of success on each? I mean, assuming he can prove that he never trafficked weed, then fuck this dude, right? I mean, there's definitely like a he can't just go inside his car. Like that that's gotta be something you can take somebody oh, to yeah, court yeah. for. Definitely a trespassing on chattel kind of situation. Yes, yes. You, yeah. you, you are, you've already you've already identified trespass and chattel. For, uh, listen, yeah. I, I'm so proud that I got the phrasing exactly right. I feel like a real <laughs> lawyer now. Give me an actual bar exam. Let's go. I'm gonna become a oh, fucking shit. esquire in a second. So here's the here. deep lore. Zach's Zach's coming for Pridge's actual. <laughs> do you have do you have fifteen hours? Jesus fuck, no, I don't. I surely okay, then. don't. <laughs> then you ain't taking a bar exam. Oh God, it's <laughs> why is it so long, Bridge? <laughs> six hours on Monday, six hours on Tuesday, three hours on Wednesday. Oh, bar exam. Sorry, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Sorry, yeah, six, six on Jeez. Tuesday, six on Wednesday, three on Thursday. Uh, um, and I thought the Persona Five exams were bad. <laughs> so. So okay, trespass the channel. What what was the other? What was the the full question? Was he did what to what? It's just what cause of action. Um, oh, okay. I mean, I mean, there's there's like probably slander. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say slander is something. Uh, or is it liable? I can't remember which one's which. Yeah, one's. I'm gonna be honest with you. I forget ninety percent of the time too. One's written text. One's <laughs> spoken word. Yeah, one's written. I think slander is spoken. That's how I always remembered it. Mm, S for S. The S's. Yeah. Yeah. The S's. Sl slander spoken. Makes sense. Um. Oh, so then this would be libel because it was written lies yeah, about him. It, it, yeah, it's weird because it's like it's posting posters also slander and libel are actually pretty hard to prove there, mm. there's some really real world there's some really weird rules about you have to be you have to sort of know that you're lying for it to count oh so if you don't know that you're lying oh so he's you assuming can say whatever that he's telling the so he's he's guessing it's, that he's telling it's, the truth it's it's it's, uh, it's the way a lot of like news stories can report on things without being certain because as long as they're not, as long as they're not knowingly and as long as they're not knowingly lying with malice, yeah, makes um, sense. You, you you can get away. You just have to be like, oh, sorry, we were wrong. Let me retract that. Ugh. Um, but I think some, so some, so obviously you can't break into someone's car and take things from their car. Sure can't. <laughs> right. Um, no. So that one's obvious. Trust me, I've tried. Um, so there is a tort that would be intentional interference with contractual relationship. So mm. you could argue that by getting, um, by getting Barber's lease canceled through mm -hmm. the, um, incorrect accusation of drug use, there's a potential tort there. Um, the other one is, is, um, interference with 
employ. I, I guess I can't remember the exact term it is. It's like getting somebody fired. Yeah, it's like intentional interference with with like expected employment or something, or maybe it's just contractual mm. relationship. Um, maybe it's the same thing. Again, there's a lot of terms of art that I can't remember exactly because fourth is a one L class, and I don't remember right. that. Uh-huh. Um, but basically, getting him, getting him, so getting him fired as an unpaid volunteer wouldn't be a cause of action because he was an unpaid volunteer. But the fact that it lost him the chance at full time employment at the church, right. that's going to be a cause of action. Okay. So sad. Yeah, that fucking that would, sucks. Because that would have been a chance at employment. I th- I was really hoping it was going to dig deeper and be like, and also his part time position at the puppy rescue center. Yeah. <laughs> they terminated him from that, causing all of the puppies to get euthanized. Jesus, Wes. No one's working what there. What the fuck? <laughs> I wanted it to go there so I could be like, no! Wes, go to dark jail. <laughs> um, oh yeah, just, just to go back out to people talking about, um, hiring a PI isn't anything illegal with that, and the private investigator didn't break into anyone's car, so there's nothing there. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's weird to hire private detectives to spy on people, but it's not illegal. That is sure weird that that isn't like illegal in some way. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, obviously the private investigator has to obey the laws, so they can't do right. any bullshit. But, right, right, right. Um, and then I think the final thing you'd want to mention is uh, intentional infliction of emotional distress. Yeah, because he ended up needing to seek psychiatric care. Mm. Once again, this is pretty hard to true. This is pretty hard to prove. Mm-hmm. Um, it has to be outrageous conduct. Mm. And I don't know if posting flyers that say someone's a drug dealer. It, yeah, it's 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 tough. I mean, posting the flyers and then calling to get him fired. The problem is Cook. I mean, Cook could argue he really believed there was marijuana, so it wasn't that way. His behavior, he would just was trying to you know make sure this guy was obeying his lease. I don't think intentional infliction of emotional distress works in this case, but you'd bring it up as a possible cause of action. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but the biggest ones are going to be breaking into his car, getting him kicked out of the mall, and preventing him from getting that full-time job are probably going to be the three causes of action that have at least a decent to good chance of sticking. Damn. Interesting. <sighs> Fucking cook! Yeah. What a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, cook's kind of a piece of shit. Really fucked What's over it? barber on this one. Okay, okay. Uh, Die stop donated nine dollars. Thank you very much. They said friends Whipska. <laughs> I want. Okay, now when I saw that in my head, I think I thought of Miracle Whip, like the container for Miracle Whip, but it's like Francisca von Karma branded Miracle Whip. That's the first thing you thought of? Yeah, don't ask me to explain how my brain works. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I can't believe it's not Vavon Karma. (laughs) I can't believe it's not German. (laughs) But it is. Uh, With that out of the way, though, shall we start playing the video game? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what this game takes us. I guess we can play a video game. Sure. Uh, Let's get into the game. Get into the game, brother. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. Oh, what's, what's going on? Uh, and Violet Vita also just shared another 100 bits. So spirit channeling would be, being totally real, would just shatter real world law, right? Uh, which, oh, yeah. Fridge, you addressed this on in the YouTube comments this week. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it would be, it would be crazy because there'd be whole, there'd be so many weird liability things of like, Again, if if the nurse is again, I don't think that's what happened. If the nurse really did possess Maya's body and kill someone, you can't convict a ghost. Is Maya negligent for letting her body get possessed? Is Morgan negligent for not keeping a better eye on the whole thing? There, it would be an absolute clusterfuck if you could start bringing the dead back to life. Is is a ghost admission admissible in court? Only only in only in the legal world, though. In but, normal day to day society, it would be totally. Fun. 
<laughs> but now, if the nurse went to an abandoned home and started living there, would they have squatters' yeah. rights? God damn it. <laughs> Boo. We talked about this already. Adverse possession is not open and obvious. Because <laughs> they're a ghost and invisible. <laughs> So no, ghosts would not succeed on an adverse on an adverse possession claim. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here anyway. Um I thought about this a little. Huh? If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man, nice is a bold adjective. Earl, you don't you don't know shit, do she you? She definitely didn't. Yes, uh, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. <laughs> yes, that murderer person. Yes, pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. Phoenix, she just realized that people can kill each other. She's an eight-year-old child. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. That's, and the only people present pretty... that weren't us are her mom and Eenie. Yeah. But granted, she probably and, doesn't care about And a lot of heart. And a lot of heart. That's true. The real please, can we make can we make her the murderer this time? I would time, love please? to put a lot of heart behind bars. <laughs> At Sea World. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge, fucking, fucking nail her in these in jokes. There. God damn. Throw her in there with Shamu. I mean, you better fucking believe I'm doing an edit of Sh Lada's face over Shamu making a giant wave at SeaWorld and getting a bunch of people wet. <sighs> so, what do you think about seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Uh, oh. Mystic Maya looked so small and helpless. Well, to be fair, she is small and helpless. <laughs> well, <laughs> Maya's already naturally short, so... And then, that snobby woman with those with the roughly clothes. Roughly? Oh, oh, she means Francisca. She had such a bad attitude? She does. <laughs> She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm going to tell oh, her dang. what I think of her tomorrow. Oh, dang, do it. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. <laughs> Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer. Well, no. A prosecutor is still a lawyer, Phoenix. I'm sure no, you I think know on that. Opposite, I think on opposite day, Phoenix becomes a prosecutor. That's how it works. <laughs> what the? F why would? Okay. Maybe I this is a. I think you mean the opposite of a defense attorney. Yeah, I'm sure this was like it couldn't fit in the text box, so the localization team was like, eh, "This is fine." Whatever. <sighs> Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer. A prosecutor. So her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. Damn, Phoenix. That's terrible. But she's really a good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? Oh. Pearls. Pearl spoilers. Fucking, fucking protect Pearl at all costs. There's no one like oh. that. All oh, prosecutors shit. are the same. Edgy, dark, <laughs> emo <laughs> phoenix <Edgy> here. Phoenix. <laughs> well, he might have become a good guy eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? This is when Phoenix looks in the mirror and realizes that he's grown an ascot. <laughs> Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. A. A. G. Worth? 
Gah. Yeah. Hey, Phoenix, fuck you. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Why is this game trying so hard to beat us at the thinking head to first bed? I mean, you don't know. Maybe he is. <laughs> huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and hey. died for it. That's oh, Francisca's. That's Francisca's word. Yeah, it's weird oh. hearing Phoenix say foolish. That's too bad. God damn, this guy. I forgot Sorry, that they laid it on friend. so thick here. Yep. By the way. Yes? What is it? Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Well, it was me, obviously. <laughs> ah, damn it, got me again, Phoenix. <laughs> The Why idea of it being Pearl is so good. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Uh, no, I, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. Also, the context of Phoenix saying, I was just thinking earlier. <laughs> That's I don't do it often. Yeah, Phoenix but... doesn't do that. <laughs> she didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder... Where was Pearls, and what, she was, what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just what? where did she pick this up? This power. Pearls alibi Jesus, Phoenix. I know, right? <laughs> uh, you can't uh, actually do it. <laughs> Violet Vita also cheers another 100 bits. Says, wait, Pearl can't be charged with murder, right? Isn't there a minimum age thing? Is she the perfect killer? <laughs> Yeah, no, people under the age of nine can you just know, kill it, indiscriminately, and there's nothing anyone but, but can clearly, do about it. Is, clearly, she, clearly, she channeled Joe Dark. Yeah, it, it's a meme. Yes, it's a Pearl meme. Dark. It's a meme of be gay, do crimes, but it really should be be child, do crimes, because then you really can't. You can get away with the perfect murder. Yeah. That's not true, right, Pritch? Uh, I mean... You go to juvie. There's a... There's a presumptive age where they don't where there's a presumptive age where they believe you can't form the requisite intent, mm. but it's not it's not a it's not a hard cut off. You presume okay. it, but it can still be it can still be disproven. That seems so like so like that ahead. seems kind of wild to me that it's like I don't know it's up for interpretation of whether or not this child could have understood that yeah, they just I, killed another human. Yeah, I, I think at one point in his, I mean, again, it, it it's different by jurisdiction. I know at one point, like, let's say eight, like, it's presumed that a child under eight can't form the requisite mental intent for murder, mm -hmm. but uh -huh. you can still, even though it's presumed that, you can still prove it otherwise. Right. After, like, the fifth or sixth time, you really have to start <laughs> thinking, like, I don't yeah, you know. know. What? Maybe the six year old does know what murder yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you kill one more person, if you're gonna you get be in to number time out. seven, you're going to be in real big trouble. <laughs> Let's learn about Pearl's alibi. I just realized that I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? That's cold stare. Uh... <laughs> What I, I was doing? I, I wasn't d doing a anything. She's really bad at lying. <laughs> <laughs> this girl was the killer. Y you can whisper it to me. I, I won't tell anyone else, I promise. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I, um, I really wish that that was just like what happened. And she's like, I fucking killed it. <laughs> killed it, Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> shit, what was the what was the, the Jujutsu Kaisen thing? Uh, uh, the, the chains I, of... Yeah, the chains of truth or the chains of justice. Chains of justice! <laughs> I mean, that works perfectly for this. Um, I, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? I love that she knows that he can see... Uh -huh. I mean, she taught you how to use it. Right. Yeah, so let's just fucking cut the rigmarole and just tell me. Yeah. Clearly. I can't lie to you. 
Can I, Mr. Nick? She sure as hell is gonna try, though. Well, I guess, so we, we probably- She is gonna try. We probably can't until we have proof of what she was doing. Yeah, uh -huh. we're gonna have to do I, some examining. I, I mean, first. you can, you can, you can attempt to present it. The key and see will probably get us need. something. Yeah, we can go with it. Yeah, <sighs> chains of justice. You know, oh, it, wait. It lost a little bit of the. Sh it lost a little bit of the shine when you did it. Wait, three wait, times. wait, wait, wait. I have the same fucking health bar from trial today. <laughs> Apparently you do. What the yeah. fuck? You, you get some back when you do it correctly, I think. Can you die? Yes, you can die in the investigation section. I forgot about that. Pearl, I don't just, and Pearl just stabs you. What the fuck? It was me the whole time. <laughs> uh, Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um... But what if I can't just tell you what happened? Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? Uh, you can do that? God, never change, Pearl. <laughs> You'll tell me if I guess something wrong, right? Or guess something right, won't you? <laughs> yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Well, there's oh, really only know. two rooms it could be. In the side room, most likely? Or the winding way, because that's where you keep finding her. I think it's the winding way. Oh boy, oh boy. I think it's the winding way. <laughs> you were oh. here, weren't you, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way? Oh, you, you got it. So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry. Not yet. Man, oh man. All right, uh, what next? Man, oh man. Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. <laughs> now, what was it Pearl was doing into in the, the winding way? Okay, this I don't think we have a thing for. Oh, yeah, we don't have a thing for this. Yeah. I think I know what it is. I, I, but... I know what it is, but I, I don't think we have the item. No, we do not. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. To the winding way! Okay, keep lying to me. Keep your secrets for now, child. Keep your secrets. <laughs> I have to say, this is kind of nice. This is like... The longest break since the start of an episode that I've ever had. But yeah, you haven't spoken as a character yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Good points. Give, it gives my it gives my chords a little rest today. I like it. <laughs> it's really empty. There's supposed to be training held today, but I guess it's already over. Okay. Nobody nope, here either. Here. All right. Uh, Those classic um, Chinese characters. <laughs> well, there's only sorry. You mean the American one... characters? Yeah, those traditional American characters. Uh -huh. They already tell us what they mean in Chinese. <laughs> yes, I can't remember. All right. Well, there, there was only one possible place that we could have gone because I'm not really sure what that other room was. Right, 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 right. But right. it's scary because I'm not, I don't know what it is. Fear of the unknown, you know? Yeah. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Wow. 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 Poetic. Maybe you should quit being a lawyer and be a poet. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you might actually make more money. Oof. Wait, shouldn't we be examining things here? Yeah, we can do that. Anything jumping out to you? Uh, Check the urn again. Oh, Fridge noticed something. It's a really old urn. There are ashes of a person long dead inside. Just like my heart. It looks like something with a long history. Other than Edgeworth's that... Dad. Edgeworth's dad is in there. Jesus. Other than that... <laughs> who? Oh, we don't speak of him anymore. Other than that, it's not very interesting. So, time to move on. Okay. Some dumb, some dumb right. doo doo heads father's in there. The game literally said, fuck you, Bridge. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this urn that looks different from yesterday. You just back to the meditation room. Oh, that's uh, me going the wrong hey, way. Hey, back, back, 
<laughs> Back to the trailer. I also went the wrong way again. I was just after going to the side room. God fuck me, I'm so bad at this game. Hmm, looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? She looks like she's talking to a picture. Crazy. Oh no. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> Creepy. That little face she's got. I don't like it. Okay. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. Do you enjoy my evil monologue, Phoenix Wright? I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? <laughs> oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious, but are you the villain? <laughs> just just curious. You're absolutely the culprit behind oh, all this, right? Oh, I'm sorry. You caught me in the middle of my evil monologue. You're batshit crazy, right? <laughs> just curious, but that picture you were just looking at... Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. That event? The fucking... The trial that I, I, I at least extended the date of your niece's sentencing? Yes. Yeah. How were, how were the corn dogs and cotton candy? Do you do you know what a courtroom? Is? Uh, uh, yes, thank you. I too have I... never left. <laughs> <laughs> I am terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. Uh, only if you tell me what this room is called. Fucking Christ! <laughs> I had a previous engagement, as I had to watch over the trainees. Tra the trainees training today. I get the nice sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. <laughs> All because the master can't be here with us, you understand? And that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. Okay. Okay. Ah. Fucking cry me, cry me a river, Morgan. Cry me a river. Have you remembered something about the murder? No. I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time when Lana and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. In this room, uh, would if you... If you were to give it a name. <laughs> I have the map here, and I need to write some stuff down. What should we call this room that we're in? Thinking of calling it the Summoning Shanty. Ooh. Summoning shanty. Pretty. Like That's summoning really good. Shanty. <laughs> the the, the seance room? shack. <laughs> what's a room that starts with a G? Uh, 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 yeah, it help us out. I mean, greenhouse is what comes to mind, but this is not a greenhouse. This uh, is not a gr <laughs> <laughs> the ghost garage. Ooh, the ghost, ghost, gr ghost garage. Ghost like, garage. Ghost garage is cool. Is good. Is it's cool. Got ghost grotto. <laughs> it's cool. And, and ghost. There's a ghost grotto and ghost gazebo. The ghoul Ooh. gazebo. <laughs> That's really good. These are all really good names. The so, dead uh, which dormitory. One I... Dead, dead dorm. dorm. <laughs> I like that. So, which one should I put down? <laughs> Am I getting closer? I performed the spirit's severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. Hmm. You want to see the hand signs? They're really sick. <laughs> you said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. Uh, I was really hoping for some new info. I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played on your hopes. Why do I feel like I was just made fun of in the worst way possible? I mean, you kind of were. <laughs> sketch, sketch Man says the Afterlife Amphitheater. <laughs> Which is really Ooh, good. That's also a very good one. And the beepus is the apparition apartment. 
Oh. See, this is why we love you guys because you take the bit we start and make it even better. I mean, make we, it even we run jokes into the ground, but you fucking like push them the extra mile. You know, <laughs> you push them through to China. You push the you push them the extra five feet to get six feet under. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading so many great names in here. It's really good. The Rave Grave. Ooh. Ooh, the Fa Phantom Foyer. That's really foyer. good. Ooh, that is really good. The Underworld Undercroft. The Medium Motel. The Spectre Damn. Sauna. Spectre Sauna. The Reverend I mean, Rotunda. Y'all are. I mean, look at all these things. Look at all these things that are candles. I guess. I bet that room's really hot. So, it probably is sauna like. The Poltergeist Pantheon. Fuck, it's really good, y'all. I thought it was gonna be pantry. <laughs> it's also good. The poltergeist pantry. So, <laughs> do the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. And if you know who the trainer of the train, fuck, I lost it. I can't remember what it is. Fuck, I'm the worst. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course. However. And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training. Mr. Wright. Uh, yes, yes. She, really got, she got real scary real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? In Papa's they are to be addressed. They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry. How about Hamburger Girl and Pearls? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, what was it? Somebody had a really good one. The Possession Parlor is really good. Possession Parlor is really nice. It has a lot of good names. Uh, sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait. Dang, so we have all these great names. What's the room called again? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Okay. Oh, man. She's really being a pain in the butt about this. Oh, no, nah, he said, he said the word. He said the call. word. It's Mystic Maya, Mystic Pearl, and Murderer Morgan. <laughs> oh, there it is. Because you, if you would address me as Murderer Morgan. Ah, oh, dang it. Got me again, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> I, I would prefer you address me as Murderer Morgan, please. God damn it. Please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. Okay. So, the master is, um, Maya's God, mother, it, right? I said it wrong again. The master is Master yep. Chief. Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And not so great large. <laughs> and where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Uh, erased? Seems, seems excessive. A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. That's oddly specific. Oh. We call I... it the spirit statue of, statute of limitations. <laughs> I see. And that is four years from now for her. Yeah, I, I can do math. I have my calendar up in my room with a big picture of her face with a bunch of darts in it. Saying when that time limit is up. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Karain Village. And? They will be the very best, like no one ever was. Oh. Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. But have you seen her? <laughs> However, with this murder, I'm afraid... I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. But with this she literally might as well murder. just like... Yeah. 
she, like, literally should just be like, by the way, if you're wondering what a good motive for framing Maya for murder would be, I'm going to explain it to you in immense detail. Yeah, she's not, uh, yeah. Good at this she's whole not being the best a, at... Being this whole, she's not really good at being a criminal. Listen, right. oh, look, we went back to the meditation. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wow. Oh, it's wow. hard. Can we get some... Can we get some facts in the chat, please? No, come oh on. my it's, god. It's 100 Tuss. degrees in New York right now. I don't need this right now. <laughs> the side room. We're going to the side room. <laughs> uh, the bedding is all laid out today, too. Guess so, I did. Guess the artist didn't have enough fucking time to change the sprite, huh? <laughs> guess I'll leave them alone for now. Exam. Okay. Exam of the case again. The trunk thing. You mean the coffin? Hmm. You mean the thing that Maya was in? I keep wondering. Hey, I keep... haven't proven that yet. That's it's true. just obvious. <laughs> I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this was wasn't in the box. box. Wow, y'all both nailed go. that. Uh, I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. Looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. You could probably fit I like an 18 year old I, girl in here. I was gonna I say, easily... I thought it said. Go ahead. I was gonna say, it could easily fit several Gwyneth Paltrow's heads in it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it said, it could easily fit a spit ch children in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. That's it's funny. mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costume sit at the bottom. Okay. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> this. This is the key to this room. And, and this room is... <laughs> That's right. But, but why do you have it, good sir? That... That? <laughs> I'm not telling. Return it at once! I... I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to this murder. But what is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... Mm, I can't describe it. I don't know, Phoenix. like a murderous... Like, whatever. Her eyes are glazed over with rage yeah. right now. <laughs> Uh, and Taco Sensei huh. cheered, cheered one bit and says, I'm going to go do stuff. Good luck finding the pot. We we looked at the pot. We did look at the pot. It's not the pot. It's not the pot. Oh, people are saying profiles? Present profiles to everyone. If y'all have a specific one, I'll do it. Uh-huh. I don't want to go through and present eight, ten characters' profiles. Present like Eenie. Sure. Uh, wait, people are saying Maya? Maya and Pearl. Okay. Sir. Yes? When did you take a hidden picture of Mystic Maya? What? Wait, wait it's not like that at all. It is unforgivable. Unforgivable. Ow, ow, ow. Why did you slap me? Okay. Nice. Are you guys telling us to do this just so we get slapped? <laughs> She's really not offended that you got a secret picture of yeah, Pearl, what the though. Fuck. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't believe I have seen my child today. Would you happen to know where she is, good sir? No, I, I wouldn't. Honestly, take one day off from training, and it is nigh impossible to make it up. Good sir. I pray you are not teaching her strange, fiendish things in her time off. Oh, fuck off. Here comes Listen, her Listen, you only booted up Fortnite for a little bit. <laughs> we were having two... I mean, we were having such a civil conversation, too. Okay, people are saying Mia. That's actually... I, I'm actually curious to see what she says to this. Oh, my. I think I may know of this person from somewhere. You might. It's Mia. You know, Maya's older sister? 
Ah, yes, that is who she is. How could you forget a daughter of the master? If memory serves, she became a lawyer. Oh, how splendid for her, don't you think? She did. That soft, kind smile. The kind There's that... no way she could be the murderer. <laughs> it's the kind that tells you a pair of devil horns are not too far away. Dang. She terrible. She mean. She bad. Uh. Okay. Go see. Go see Is if it, she. Go see she if a crazy. Or something. Yeah, it's got to be a crazy girl. fae, but she channels so good. We're on top of that. We can present the the key to her without doing the cyclock thing. Oh, uh, okay. We already did that, though. Oh, no, we didn't. About this key, Pearls, you found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where you found this key is very important. So, please, tell me, Pearl, where did you find this? I found it in okay. the incinerator. The incinerator? Huh, is she talking about the one in the garden? The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the cha it was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean, tell Morgan what you did? Yeah, yes. If she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash... I'll get a spanking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Corporal punishment for your children? Yeah, we don't support that. <sighs> gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her. Let's keep it a secret from her then, right? Hmm. The incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. Even though we Phoenix. just did. I know. Curse you no, we're, requirement we're, that we move in a. We're, we're right. The game is wrong. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. And, okay. Oh, oh, come okay. On, wow. Video games. <laughs> video wow. games. Hey. There's someone by the incinerator. Also, the sprite has changed slightly. Oh, it looks like they noticed me. And are now running at top speeds towards me! Oh, hey! Like, you're that dentist guy. Stop calling me a dentist. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. N nice to see you again. My name's on the fucking box? Get it right. <laughs> Oh, like, real suave. So, it's like, my turn. It's nice to see you, too. You mean, what the fuck? So, what's up? You're all out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like, you mean... Like, I'm just totally happy and, like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there are so many things to, like, see. It's, like, the real deal here. Oh, really? For example... For example? Like, that urn over there. Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. <laughs> yeah, shit all over their culture, Phoenix. Yeah, fuck that pot. <laughs> Oh no. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? I am legend? <laughs> like, Sorry, Will yeah. Smith. Damn it, that was really good. That was good. Like, yeah. It's like this village's treasure. Huh. Didn't know that. And like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it's? What are you talking about? Like, you know, Amy Faye's spirit. Amy Faye? Who's that? 
Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. Everyone knows the lady that founded the Karain channeling technique was Mystic Amy. Um, you don't oh, have to a get upset without a single with like me. in it. I don't deserve this from you, okay, Amy? Ugh, come on, Fack. Get with the program. <laughs> <Fuck off. laughs> so, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Fey family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic? Huh? That urn really isn't as important as she says. It could be a vital clue. Any, <laughs> I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's. Remember? As if there's another one. Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place. <sighs> so, like, I totally don't know anything because I was like sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on. What a total bore. I like totally have nothing to do with this like murder thing. Oh, yeah. You only introduced Dr. Gray to Korean Village. No relation. Sure. Even if you were told, even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in the accident, was a nurse at his clinic. I just realized that I'm giving Eni like an over-exaggerated version of Alexis's voice from Shit's Creek. Yeah, kind of. Now, can you have Eni say David? You, David. <laughs> Right then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Jesus, you can't just ask somebody that, Phoenix. Tell me about your dead sister. <laughs> like, why? You think, like, it's got something to, like, do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I have. Oh boy, she's a oh, lion to me. Oh, uh, b -b -b boy. Uh, Cyclock. Like, what is it? Uh, looks like I'm going to need something to pry her mouth open on this one. Let's go get a crowbar. Okay. That's uh, one way to do it. <laughs> All right, look at that. Look at that thing. Look at this urn. Look at this urn. So, there's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm, all I see are a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks. Now that's um, a lyric to that's a lyric to a song right there. Looks like something's written on it. I am, huh? Weird. Huh, it's almost like it was br it's almost like it's supposed to say Amy and it's broken and pieced yeah. together badly. No, listen, we all know that the Korean family are like very orthodox Jewish. They worship I am, Yahweh. That was nothing. No, I was gonna say it's no, it's it's more. <laughs> no, they're really into. I actually kind of appreciate. It. Okay, good. They're really into. They're really into Nietzsche, and really into like <laughs> theoretical like thought. That urn. <laughs> that urn thinks, and so it is. It's not Nietzsche though. How Who is, is it? How is Jewish confirmed? I think therefore. Confirmed? Cogito ergo sum. I think therefore I am. Isn't that Descartes? Yeah, it's Descartes. Is it Descartes? Yeah. Whatever. I'm sorry I'm not up to date on my no, fucking... No, Nietzsche, Nietzsche is the nihilist. Yeah, right? Nietzsche's nihilism and will to power and the ubermensch. Yeah. Ubermensch. Uh, what a good word. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside for myself. Oh, God, it's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> this is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A, a tiny bit, but still! <laughs> that was good. That was good. Let's take a quick peek ski. Unburned remains found inside the garden incinerator. Small amount of blood is on it. Uh, do we get. Okay, the urn is in our 
possession. Yeah, in, I think we have effect. everything we need now. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, she was burning Maya's clothes. She's probably with the pot. Yeah. So. Damn, it's not that. It's not the pot. I think we actually have to go to, uh, go back and talk to Maya. Uh, now we're supposed to go talk to Maya? That's what I think. Yeah. Somebody in the chat said that. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay it's different. All right, game. <sighs> this game's trying my luck here. Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. And short. And small. And small. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how was it? What did you figure out? Um, well, your aunt's kind of a douche. I found a few things. <laughs> okay, old news. What else? <laughs> My eyes are tearing up. Nick, don't make me cry. <laughs> don't you start crying, Maya. Because if you start crying, I'm going to start crying. I'm going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I... And then the and then the cop, the bailiff's <laughs> like, "Don't you guys start." I, I just need a little more time. I'll come together by tomorrow. I promise. Uh, could you check what Grossberg's up to in the meantime? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. So, how was it? Today's trial, I mean. I mean, you were fucking there. Yeah, but you Phoenix, tell me. You? <laughs> <laughs> you were fantastic, Nick. Is Thanks, that what I you want to hear? I was fishing for compliments, yes. Yeah, I could tell. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. <laughs> I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Or a video uh, game why, why on a movie? Nintendo why DS. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're going to win this, Maya. Nobody would play a video game like this. <laughs> okay, okay. What if we put in a lot of homosexual subtext? <laughs> now you got a video game. And then what if what if what if we get three chuckle fucks to stream it? And one of them has actually passed the bar exam, so he has some context about how much bullshit is put into this game. Phoenix, do you have some extra cash? Are we funding this right now? <laughs> Well, I would ask Gant, but he's in the next cell over. <laughs> Listen, I heard the idea. I got a whole bunch of fifty-dollar bills in my pocket. I'm ready to let's. I'm ready to play ball. Let's party. I'm so glad you called us. You referred to us as chuckle fucks. Yep. Hey, Nick. The person who shot Doctor Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. I think. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I had manipulated you well enough. <laughs> if that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well... Did you check behind the folding screen? Did you check behind your ear? Oh! Well... I got the murderer! <laughs> <laughs> um... I took a quick glance... But there wasn't anyone there. Hmm. It's exactly what Lotta said, too. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? <laughs> I don't fucking You got know. me. <laughs> Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. Because you have literally no reason to kill Dr. Gray. Yeah. You're also, like, <laughs> the most harmless person I've ever encountered in my entire life. You don't even know how to fire a gun. I mean, look at you. You're just so small and helpless. helpless. <laughs> you There's are no way an, you could kill anybody. You are an adorable little hot dog hamburger gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> I do, not th I do not think you are physically capable, physically or me mentally or emotionally capable of inflicting harm on people. A hot dog gremlin, a, a definite step up of a creepy Dorito shit troll. So yeah, don't don't get me wrong. You're still much better than Gant. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a close second. <laughs> <clears throat> My sis, what did she tell you? 
She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so you should give up give up on yours. So give up on your dream. <laughs> when you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves your body. Now that you mention it, wait, then then I really am soulless, yes. yes. You are not the murderer. <laughs> you are not the father. You are Yeah, I was gonna say we get a Mari bit there. Yep. I think that maybe before you called the spirit, you were drugged. Oh, it must have been all that crack that I smoked before <laughs> the channel. Not crack. <laughs> yeah, you know, that that's a drug, right? I mean, yes. <laughs> I think this was planned from the very beginning. A key part of the crane channeling technique. Is you have to get, get fucking whacked. blazed out of your mind. Blitzed. Is to get whacked on crystal match. Jesus. Mary Jane smokers for Maya. <laughs> Weed and crack are not the same drug, Wes. <laughs> I know that. I changed it. <clears throat> and you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. That's... That's... Impossible. It's really annoying. Why do people keep setting me up to take the blame for murders? I don't know, Maya. It's like they would pick a better target, because, again, you would never. Uh, I want to ask you something about Pearls. Pearly? What about her? By the way, is it cool that I call her Pearls? I know, I know it's, like, weird that I'm the only one who does it, and I just did it without asking, but... And like and you we say just Pearly, met. but I say Pearls. Is it's... it, like, are both cool? Yeah. <laughs> No matter what I try, she won't answer me. She won't pick up my calls. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Why the fuck would hmm. Maya know that? Hmm. She was busy committing a murder. <laughs> Wait, Nick, you don't think she did it, do you? No, that no. little bitch. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> She'd never do anything like that. You hear me? Never. Yeah, no shit, Maya. She's a great kid, and really cute, and really great, and cute. Yeah, I, I got that. I didn't really think she was but the murderer. But is she also great? But she's definitely hiding something. Mm. You were with her on that day, right? But not during the time of the murder, which is what you... Ah, whatever, Phoenix. You're dumb. Yeah. The two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball? Huh? You fucking seven? Ball? <laughs> so... No, not this ball. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking ball, Phoenix. What's the... Just throw them. What's the deal with ball? With balls! <laughs> uh, by the via to cheers 100 bits, saying, Why even set someone up for murder in this universe? It literally never works. Ever. It only creates their downfalls. Yeah, I don't fucking know. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. <laughs> what? I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. In fact, I stepped out of the room so I could keep playing ball with her. I'm really professional. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. What the fuck? She loves to play with that ball? <laughs> I don't like this. Come on. I nobody, hate this. Nobody make jokes. When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah. Pearly's always hiding in there. <laughs> you know, the side room? There's a clothing box in there. I love the idea that, that Pearl just jumps into this clothing box, like, right before anybody has to channel somebody, and they put on their clothes, Pearl loves... she's like, BOO! <laughs> <laughs> Pearl loves to play this game called hey, Buried normal, Alive. <laughs> she's like, tee hee, gotcha, Mr. Nick. <laughs> it's really big so once you see it i'm sure you'll know what i'm talking about i could fit inside i could fit inside there <laughs> i bet you if i fall asleep inside there i'd have a dream like i was buried alive <laughs> <laughs> the clothing box in the side room huh i've never seen anything like that okay uh we want to present anything while we're here no, I think yeah, go it's a, it's a two-hour train ride back to Korean Village. Yeah, so. I don't want to fuck up and not present something. 
No, I think we will. I mean, unless we want to show her the jar, see if she says anything. But. I don't think she's going to say anything. I think we need to go investigate the box. Find out that Pearl accidentally shattered the urn with her ball. Mm hmm. And use that to defeat her Silox. Yeah. We never left. Speaking oh, of a lot of times. It. Damn it. Hey. Stop being relevant. <laughs> Okay, bye. Hey, wait! Please, Lana! She ran off into the manor. <sighs> oh no, it's Sonic the Hedgehog! He's coming to get me! <laughs> Why did they make us do that? We literally walked to one room just to talk to her again. Maybe we're gonna have to do it again. Lana. Are you fucking me. Hey! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Yes. I mean, I don't disagree right. with the first part of the statement, but... <sighs> <laughs> wow. Wow, Lana. Where'd she go? Uh, do we go channeling or winding? I, get, I mean... I say winding. I'd say winding. I don't know. Like, hey. Also, do you uh, want to satisfy the, the chat? Hold on, do you want to satisfy the chat and show Eenie her own profile? Because apparently she says something funny. Uh, I'll do that. Because that does sound. Chat's been yelling at us for a while to do it. Um, this face. Like, I think I've seen it somewhere before. What? You're joking, right? <laughs> like, of course I am, silly. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <sighs> Guess we'll look at the thing while we're here. Oh, hey, look, there's oh, a boy. ball in the room. There ball. is. There is ball. Hello, ball. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of running this direction, but it doesn't oh, look please. like she's here. Please be hiding in the box. Please be hiding in the box. Oh, yes. so good. Box. What's uh, in the box? What's in the box? It's a it's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish head. <laughs> like shooting fish in a box. Hey. Uh, it's my fish in a box. <laughs> okay, first let's look at this freaking ball. That's a ball. Uh, That's a ball, all right. It's a sam steel samurai ball. That's good. Oh, of course it is. Of course oh, it is. nice. Maya said that it's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Nice. We, stole, we, Pearl, got ball. we stole the ball. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder yeah, what's let's inside. Just, let's just take the ball and be like, hey, Pearls, if you want your dang ball back, tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm going to throw it in the incinerator, you little shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? A bad person. Just another piece of human trash. I needed a hole to crawl into. Good. Oh Good. my god, she ran away again. So you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh man. Huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box. And it's about... Eight inches off the, off the ground. Dun dun dun. That's the same height oh as the folding screen. Uh, then could this? Oh boy. Oh boy. The plot thickens. Boy. Okay. I swear to God. Now we have what we need to talk to Pearl. Fucking Lotta runs away from me one more fucking time. <laughs> No. Oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. That, that fish just swam by. <laughs> Got him. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair? Oh. <sighs> she means Lana. She said, don't look at me with M eyes, <laughs> but I'm not that scary, am I? Pearl, Aww. you're fucking terrifying. 
I don't, the amount of power that you wield. I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. <laughs> Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. God, dog bless you, Pearl. You got anything else in your saying? No, okay. I think it's no. Megatama time. I think we should save soon so we don't get loose. Yeah, good point, good point, good point. All right, Pearl. Let's blow this case wide open. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you were in the winding way. Wow, you got it for like the third time. <laughs> okay, so she was playing with her ball. Playing with the ball. Playing right, with right. the ball. Duh. You were playing with this ball, right? <laughs> uh, that's right. How? How did you know? Well, I just kind of kept shoving things towards yeah, you. Yeah, my third wrong and guess. And one of so. them would be right. <laughs> First I showed you a key, then a jar. Then you got it on the... You got it on your third try. That's amazing. Maya told me that you'd love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh. And then... Something happened, huh? Something really bad. What do you mean, something? N n nothing happened. This is it. While you were playing with your ball, this happened. Your ball killed Dr. Gray. <laughs> Profiles, Dr. Gray. <laughs> you threw the ball huh, I wonder. You threw the ball Wheel, with hey, strength bro. that it, it, went, it dimensionally traveled into the channeling chamber. It went through Dr. his Gray. head. <laughs> Pal, that you've solved the case. We were wondering why the bullet hole was eight inches in diameter. <laughs> God Gray damn it. Has this gaping hole in his chest. This is the strangest bullet hole I've ever seen, pal. <laughs> uh, this is this is, we present the urn, right? I yes. I pray, I pray yes. I pray. <laughs> this urn. It's a village treasure, right? Uh, um. And the spirit, and the spirit of the founder of the Korean technique is sealed in here, right? Yes. Look at her being so cheeky right now. Yeah. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? Oh no! There's even a few gaps here and there. Phoenix is fucking with her so hard. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl. You broke the sacred urn, didn't you? I'm telling your mommy. The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. Or the urn. But it's strange that this lock hasn't broken yet. It's... It's a really old urn, isn't it? Uh-huh. It, it's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Oh, come on, Pearl. Her voice is shaking. Uh, do we have a profile for oh, Amy? Yeah. Oh, we do. We do, okay. Jesus! Thank you. Terrifying. Yeah. That's lot that's lot Get it, Zach, get it out of here. It's scaring me too much. Oh god. Speaking of That's like a that's like a monster a ghost out of Fatal Frame. Jesus. That is like a Fatal Frame joke. Yeah, that's a monster from a horror movie. Jesus. Who started the Curane channeling technique? Uh uh I am. Duh. <laughs> the um, great I am. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it was Obviously, Mr. It was Nick. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
Fridge, you don't know most... this. That that's like a reference to the the out- outtakes from the uh, the anime. <laughs> It was Mystic Amy, or Ami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. Oh, you're illiterate, you stupid child. Yep, Zach. It's spelled (laughs) A-M-I. Oh, I thought it was spelled a K asshole. <laughs> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew someone must have broken it. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. There we go. Get shattered. Chains of justice. Oh fuck. Oh, well, there we go. It's very there we uh, go. We get very our fulfilling. Back. Phoenix apparently gets very rejuvi- rejuvenated from proving a child's a liar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from dunking on people. <laughs> Just debating a child. Hey, eight-year-old, uh, do you want to have a political debate? Let me. <laughs> my oh God, is, so is, Phoenix, is Phoenix right? Ben Shapiro. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's uh he's Steven Crowder on a college campus just Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> Runs to college campuses to debate kids. Prove me debate I'm wrong. me kids. <laughs> <laughs> what is it what does it show prove me I'm wrong prove me wrong? Is that oh, what it says on the thing? It ch- it changed my mind. Change my mind, that's what it is. <laughs> how, how many no like how many no's we're getting from yeah, the chat? Just just fucking Phoenix is the change my uh, mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's well, really good. <laughs> let's say hypothetically that you broke this urn. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, God. <laughs> there's always a good there's always a good day to uh, dunk on Stephen Crowder. I mean, Shapiro. It's listen, always uh, a good day Stephen Stephen Crowder. J- just about the only people Stephen Crowder can beat in a debate are are eight year olds. <laughs> Same thing with Ben Shapiro. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! That was <laughs> that, that was very really good. And that took with the. Harvard Law. <laughs> um, I don't want to bring it up because it just happened. But the fucking him going to what was it Home Depot and buying a single plank of wood. Single piece of it's wood. So fucking funny. Wait, what happened? He to... so, there. There is a group of people who were upset about uh, Home Depot for not boycotting someone. Uh-huh. So to, to fight back against the evil cancel culture. Ben Shapiro bought a single two by four from Home Depot and took a picture of himself with a single two by four in a, in a Home plastic Depot bag. bag. And it's just like, I did it. I'm fighting cancel culture. It's and fucking, it was just the oh, dorkiest man. fucking thing oh, ever. Oh my god, it's so no. Dumb. It's so dumb. Like, you, you did it, man. You bought a single fucking two by four. Oh, hey, Absolute listen. turd. Listen, according to his wife, that's probably the first time he's gotten wood in a long time. God damn. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> um. <laughs> Around when Mystic Maya started the channeling on that day, I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. Oh. I, I accidentally let Mystic Ami's spirit fly away. Now it's floating in the Aww. atmosphere forever. Well, look, g- given what we saw about that spirit, it's cursed and hopefully it's gone now. <laughs> so. Yeah. Don't worry. Morgan will never know, okay? Hey, Morgan! <laughs> I'm a bad child. I'm a bad child. Aww. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together, and no one would notice? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Fucking idiot. Listen, I thought it was a pretty good attempt, okay, asshole? Some glue and brought it into the and brought it to the hallway and fixed the urn there. 
The hallway. This episode sponsored by Gorilla Glue. You mean the <laughs> winding way? Yes. But could you tell me what the other room is through those big doors the one there? Next, the one you the pass side, by before you get to the winding side room. No, no, no. The, the other one. No, nope, those are the only rooms. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the one with the big American characters? <laughs> the channeling had already started, so I didn't think Aww. anyone would walk by. Aww. That is the cutest Look art. And she's like yeah, crying. She's so sad. I feel so bad for her. There's, there is another adorable shot that we get. I can't remember if it's in this game or the next one. That's 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 making me, that's reminding me of this. Mm. And I'm very excited for when we get to see that. Hmm, I see. So, about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yeah, yes. I might be strong at spiritual things, but... But when it comes to arts and crafts, I am not nearly as skilled. <laughs> well, look. I'm talking about this one girl, Emma. I was about to she's say... She's a lot older than you, you and can't she can't be do as bad as Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, Emma's like in Europe, and she just clutches at her heart, like oh, my pride. <laughs> when I finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Mick. What is it, Pearls? Now that I've told you, I'm going to have to kill you just like I <laughs> killed Dr. Gray. I'm, I'm going to get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Gami's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Now she can terrorize the world as she sees fit. <laughs> <laughs> it is me, Mr. Gami. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, it was me, Skeletor, in there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. No harm done and a happy resolution. Phew. Well, time to go home. Nothing else to do here. Nothing else to do here. <laughs>